All right, thank you so much, Catherine. We're so happy to have with us Kimberly Manning for the very first time. She is seeking the Liberal nomination in Outremont and has a very interesting and educated background. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Kimberly. Very happy to be here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your actual title, right? I have this beautiful title in front of me. Like, I have Associate Professor of Political Science and Principal of the Simone de Beauvoir Institute at Concordia University. Yeah. So very impressive. What is the Simone de Beauvoir Institute at Concordia University, first of all? It's a pretty special place. It's actually a college, um, and it houses both the Women's Studies Program and Sexuality Studies Program mm -hmm. at the University of Concordia. But it's also a, a place where uh, both faculty and young women and community organizations come together to work on different issues. So mm -hmm. it's got a so, sort of a social justice mandate as well. Yeah. So we've been involved in a number of issues, um, whether it was uh, working against the Charter of Values, for example, or the Bedford case, which was to um, decriminalize sex work a uh, number of years ago as well. Right. So you, you specifically are, 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 are involved in a, a lot of things having to do with feminism and a lot of things having to do with women's rights. Um, very proud of that as well. Tell me a little bit about how you think this background, this storied background, is going to help you take this dive into politics. Well, we're, we're, we're living in a Me Too moment. Mm -hmm. We're living in a, a time of profound social change, um, both in terms of, I think, women really um, asserting the need to take a seat at the table, um, whether we look at the Me Too movement or other things that are happening across the country and in the United States. Um, but we're also looking at a time of backlash, right? And so I think that this is a particularly important moment that we have not only having women at the table, but, 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 but folks coming to the table that really understand feminism from an intersectional perspective, which means understanding the different ways in which our lives are impacted by different kinds of oppressions, for example, mm -hmm. whether it's racism or um, in economic inequalities. So, so that, that's what I can bring. That's one of the pieces that I can bring to the table is this sort of deeper understanding of um, the importance of feminism and what it can contribute to political so life. So if you look at the NDP, for example, yeah. they're, they're, they're quite big on social justice. Absolutely. So why, why go the liberal route? Well, you know, I, I see the Liberals at this moment in time. I think it's, it's quite extraordinary what's happened over the last three years under the leadership of Justin Trudeau. I think that we're living in a moment where we have the most progressive government Canada has had, perhaps ever, but certainly in the last 40 years. And I've met a number of MPs now who are working very, very hard, whose understandings of social justice, whose understandings of feminism are very much in alignment with my own. And I see the really great work that they're doing. Um, and I also see that the real financial commitment that the government's been making, whether on social housing or other issues, that to me say, okay, this, this is a government I can work with, I can get behind, and also try and continue to move the bar for, forward further. Let's talk about Outremont. I know Outremont really Absolutely. well. I was born in Outremont. Yeah, we were great. just talking, discussing what streets yeah. we, uh, we were on. You yeah. described it as a sort of microcosm of Canada. Tell, yes. me, tell the people at home a little bit about how you view Outremont and why you think you're right for Outremont. Outremont is an absolutely extraordinary riding. You're right. I live in the riding. I live in what we typically think of Outremont, which is the, the older francophone um, kind of intellectual arts hub of, of the city. It's a beautiful place with lots of parks, the actual neighborhood of Outremont. Mm -hmm. But the riding actually is 105,000 people. It also includes Mile End, yes. which you know is sort of this vibrant tech hub right now emerging in, in Canada at the and moment. And so it has traditional like old Portuguese, old Absolutely. Greek, and the Hasidic community as well. But what a lot of people don't realize is that half the riding is in Cote des Neiges. Mm -hmm. 50,000 people um, live in Cote des Neiges, or at least the part of Cote des Neiges that, that in, is part of the riding. Yeah. And half of Cote des Neiges are immigrants, and half of those immigrants are recent arrivals. And how are you ready to help them? Well, I have been on the ground working for months, um, connecting with a lot of different community organizations, as well as with um, different people. One of the things I've been doing, believe it or not, is a lot of Zumba with the Filipino community. <laughs> I know. <laughs> But I've been forging. It's not what I was expecting <laughs> you to say at all. Okay. 
So but you've been, been doing the Zumba. I've, I've okay. been uh, forging a lot of <laughs> Sorry, amazing yeah. new friendships yeah. with, with people who live there. Um, many members of my team mm -hmm. live in Cote de Neige um, and have been involved in the community for years. So for me, it's... Um, it's it's a very personal connection that I've been I developing, that, yeah. and um, and also one that's deeply connected to the interests I really care about. Yeah. So, for example, I've worked with Pinai, an organization that's worked with um, worked on Filipino domestic workers' rights yeah. here in Canada, and so that that's something that really grounds the work for yeah. me in 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 the values that I'm trying to bring into Parliament as well. Kimberly Manning, thank you so much for taking the time. We have run out of time, but uh, <laughs> okay. we just I asked you, are you ready for Macadamia to politics? You said. Have you ever been in, in academia? Yeah, it's, it's equally as cutthroat. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time. Again, seeking the liberal nomination yeah. in Utremont. Stay tuned. Coming up, we're talking pitfalls and the mayor's reaction.